Hi guys! Bex here! Welcome back to Understanding Factorio. You know what? I was thinking, these uh, chemical plants are 210 kilowatts a pop. That's a lot of power, and I noticed my power usage has spiked a lot. But you know what's in Factorio is these little things right here, these efficiency modules. So, off camera, I just made a crap ton of them. Like, a lot of them. And, um... Yeah. Like, when I say a crap ton, I mean, like, all these chemical plants here. All of these, and all the ones down there, they all have them. So, and the oil refineries. Uh, the oil refineries were a big bonus. And I'm still running a little short on power. How many power? How's the power doing? Let's reset this. Yeah, I mean... It's better than it was. But yeah, these, if I take these out, the power usage is 420 kilowatts. And if I put them back in, it goes down to 167. So 420 down to 167. That's a huge power. That's almost like the three of them together is close to... Yeah, it actually may be almost exact. Yeah. Yeah, 167 times 3 is 480. Yeah, so I mean, it, it, it's almost like 3 for the price of 1 kind of deal going on with these. Uh, so that's a huge impact in my power usage. Uh, I almost look at it as like, how many steam engines have I just basically created? You know? Or how many steam engines have I freed up, I, I guess? Um, it's a pretty big deal for these clusters of four here. Um, it's, uh, f it's 800, it's 840 kilowatts for a cluster of four. But when you put in, uh, the chips, it goes down to, I added it up, it's, uh, 332 kilowatts, um, for four with all the chips in them. And I'm going to put the chips in this one here. Uh, so that's a pretty big decrease, and you can see if I pull up the one hour and I set it to chemical plant, my, or ten hour on the chemical plants, yeah, um, so here's when I started putting all the chips in, you can see the power usage has just gone way down, it's exactly like one third, so, uh, that's pretty brilliant, I think, um, I think the chemical plants used to be towards the top of my energy usage, and now it's their way down there. I think next I may want to do the... Uh, actually, maybe the pump jacks. I'm not sure. Uh, do the pump jacks take that much? They kind of do. Uh, they are running all the time, so that is one thing to consider. Uh, maybe, maybe go to the... I've got 14 of these efficiency modules left. So maybe go do the do the ones that are running all the time. So I believe these are running all the time, like nonstop. So that's 150. So we're down to yeah, we save 100 kilowatts here. So that's running. These are running nonstop, kind of. So is this as well. And this one seems to be running constantly. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess I'll put the last ones in this one here. There we go. So that should help reduce a little bit of our assembling machine consumption. Let's go to the one hour. Maybe the ten minute mark. Um, it, it, there's so many spikes it doesn't tell us much, but you can see it trended down when I did that. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it, it trends down. Um, so yeah, that's a decent amount of power saving. Uh, now this is not good here. Hold on a sec. Oh, guys, guess what? It's time. We finally used up uh, enough of this fuel here. It's uh, It's time to kick in the solid fuel. I've been looking forward to this.
So I think once they get a taste of some of this solid fuel, they'll be pretty happy, I bet. Can I put modules in a inserter? No. <coughs> Man, it's really polluted right here. How much pollution do these things put off? Six apiece. Woo boy. That is really concentrated pollution, isn't it? I wonder if it's smart to actually pipe hot water away. Do you guys think it is? Like, have a dedicated spot for the boilers, like all of your boilers, and then just pipe the hot water away and just have, like, one area that's super polluted and then... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, we switched over to solid fuel. And solid fuel lasts way longer than the coal does. I think it's slightly more than three times longer, which is pretty cool. So I still actually do want these things to produce fuel, so let's switch these off that, that there and make them go over here. So I do want to drain away this, this coal patch just to have it, you know, done with. Just to be done with it. There we go. So we have a mixture of coal and solid fuel going in there, and also coming along this belt here uh, is going to be some interesting stuff. So this is now processing whatever light oil is left over into solid fuel, but this is still draining out a crap ton of stuff. Look at all the stuff in this that it needs to drain. It's getting there. It'll drain it away. But this is all just burnable stuff I wanted to get rid of and use as fuel. So, sweet. Um, can we burn the stupid... Uh, these things? Oh, yeah, we can. We can use these as fuel if we really wanted to. Do I want to do that? Do I actually want to throw these in here as fuel? That is an interesting question. I think I kind of do, actually. <laughs> like, I've got so many of them, and I don't really want to use them anymore. I'd much rather use these. Um, so I think, actually, I will put these in here. These little small ones. As fuel. So I guess we're going to use these electric poles now as, as, as fuel. That's, um... That's really funny. <laughs> oh, that's... That's, um, that makes me happy to use them up like that. Can I use that as fuel? Yeah, I can burn all the wood stuff. That's really funny. Alright, that's what I'm going to do then. All this, uh... And that way it'll serve a, uh, it will serve a function, at least. It'll have a use. Where's that little wooden box? There it is. Bye, little wooden box! Where'd it go? Is it on the conveyor belt here? There it is! Oh, like a little wooden box! Bye! Have a good day! Thank you for being useful. Oh, now I feel bad! I've, I've like, personified the... I've given it, like... Oh. Oh, well. Whatever. You must die. Oh, I can't. I gotta save the little wooden box. From waiting in the line, the little wooden box goes... Directly into the furnace. Boof. That's better. So now he doesn't have to wait in the line anymore. Isn't that great? So which one is he in? Bye, wooden box. Let's let's uh, let's have a toast to the wooden box. You're crappy, and you were useful for a little while, but now I don't need you for storage. Instead, you can power my like laser turret for half a second. 
Okay, maybe like one and a half seconds, but still. Pretty low. Bye, wooden box. Who can say where the road goes? Uh, we need some, like, sad Inya music playing. Um, alright, Power Armor Mark II. Oh, look at that! We're already at Power Armor Mark II. We've researched all this random crap leading up to it. We're just gonna go, like, directly to... the Power Armor. Um, I actually know what I really want is, um, this. Yes. Flying speed of logistic and construction robots. That's actually really important, because the first iteration of them is a bit on the crappy side. Alrighty, then. Um... Grab some iron. I don't think I have much. No, I do not. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, alright. I, I think what I need, because I was looking at this, and this actually takes elect electric engines and also processing units. And the processing units, these advanced ones, uh, check this out. Yeah, they take sulfuric acid. Uh, so that's a pain in the butt a little bit. So what I'd like to do is maybe here, in between my um, normal manufacturing and the, the chemical plants over here, I think what I'd like to do here is, is set up a... Actually, maybe down here. This would be a good spot. Um, is set up manual manufacturing. So a manual manufacturing plant. Uh, that's really... Um, I guess we can just get away with steel chest for now. I think I need five of them for this. And I need maybe like, I don't know, six of these maybe. Uh, so basically... This is pretty simple. And I think it's something I would like to put in a blueprint, actually. In case I need to throw one of these down in the future. So manual manufacturing is just where you take chests and back in here. Damn it all. Alright. Um, so I'll put this chest here. Put a speedy one here. All right. I feel like I almost have this backwards. I think I have this backwards. Uh, frick a frack. Because stuff is placed on the far side of this. Yeah, okay, there we go. So that belt takes... will be loaded up from these two here. Okay, and then this belt... Uh, it loads the far side, so that will load the far side, and then we just need one here. Uh, I can make that more compact, can't I? There's a better way to lay that out. So we just need the right side of this belt loaded up. Um, Hmm. 
no. May as well put this here then. If it won't fit over there. Um. There we go. There's our four ingredients. Uh, we just fill that out and it goes right on in there. And then the end product comes out right here and then we just put in these doohickeys. And this is where I'm at this point. I don't care about the things. Not matching up perfectly. There we go. And then the fast ones coming out here. And there we go. So if I need something manually manufactured... Oh, wait, I just forgot. The, let's switch this to be... What's something obnoxious? Ah! I knew it! So let's copy this over. And let's rotate the intake around. There we go. Um, so the liquid intakes... We're simply going to jump them down across here. And by doing it, doing it like that, the cost of this just increased. That's bugging me. Well, I mean, we're either going to have to use underground belts or underground pipes, one or the other. So just pick your poison, I guess, right? And then um, we can put the the fluid input just over there. Don't I have a pipe manufacturing thing like literally right over here? Give me all of those. Yay, pipes! Now watch me not need the pipes. Uh, all right, so here's my man manual manufacturing hub. So you can see the liquid inputs are there. Um, so we could almost do like a barrel handling point here, right? If we really wanted to do that. I haven't actually messed with those. Um, but yeah, barrels are a thing that you can do. Where are they? Here they are. Empty barrel. Maybe we should experiment with one of these. Can you barrel the other... Oh. If I go here... Is it... Do the chemical plants not do... Is it these? Oh. So these manufacture the empty barrel and the crude oil into a crude oil barrel. And then these just empty them. Oh, uh, you can't do it with any other liquid. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. It's... Never mind. So you have to pipe the actual liquid into these. Um, okay, well that's fine. So let's go ahead and save this. This is a good... Uh, let's scroll down one and now we have a fresh blueprint yeah we're just flicking through them so if I put this all in a blueprint so there we go that is my uh, manual factory so there's the manual factory factory uh, did I let me look at this? Did I set it up correctly? So the first input goes there, that puts it on the right side. The next one will put it on the far side, the left side of the first belt, then the next one down. Um, so this one is the right side of the first belt. 
This one is the left side of the first belt. This one ends up being the... That, that is curved. Um, so this will be the left side of the second belt, and this is the right side of the second belt. So yeah, I've set that up correctly. Um, cool. And it's got the stuff set up. So let's try and manufacture something. So what will we need a lot of? Um, something... go. Oh, let's research the next thing while I'm waiting. Uh, so I want to make myself a suit of power armor. Did we research power armor Mark II yet? Oh no, there it is. Oh, let's research this instead. Get that done. So Power Armor Mark II will take... Oh, God. Um, all right, 40 blue processing units. We can go ahead and make that. Uh, what do those take? Yep, yep. And sulfuric acid. Okay, easy. Easy, easy, easy peasy. All right, so let's set it up for that. All right. Um, let's go grab some sulfuric acid off the... Uh, liquid bus. So the manual factory is for making things you just kind of, you don't need an infinite supply of them. Um, where is the easiest way to connect this down there. Do, do I just go... Should I just go down? Oh, there we go. That researches very nicely, actually. Alright. So we have the sulfuric acid going in. So how are we doing? Is it, is it going in? I guess you just don't have the... Why are you not making what I told you to make? Oh! It's because this requires 20 of the friggin' green circuits. Holy crap. Fair enough. All right, so the first recipe, the first ingredient is a bunch of these red ones. And then the next one is uh, these green ones. And so basically you just manually put the, the stuff in. Let's go get... Um, and it's now occurred to me that maybe I should have made a manual green taker thingy that stacks up the green for me. The green circuits. So I could have just come in and taken some. Instead, I'm just going to have to like eat all of these off the belt. And apparently gears as well. I've always wanted a bunch of gears in my pocket. Alright, we can just... Can we just make the power armor now? Cool. Yeah, um... Yeah, that, that, and oh, the efficiency. Oh, those will take a while. Um, what else do we need? Productivity module twos. Uh, what else is really? Where's the speed? Yeah, let's keep researching that. How's our blue doing? Oh, we're losing some of those. We've used up some of our uh, alien packs. It would seem. How much, uh, the st oh, we still have plenty of that left. That's whatever, it's fine. Hey, right, maybe I should throw some predictivity modules in there. Now that lowers the sp- yeah, it's probably not worth it. That might be worth it, though. How's our power doing? 
better. So I like how we still have what's this? Oh, is that wood? Is that all the wood there? Oh, that's great. We've just we've just like a variety of burnables here coming into this. It's it's great. It really is. Um. So anyway. So we got the blue science set up. We need the the robots. All right. So the first thing I want is power armor. Do I make this, or do I just go straight to this? That requires 315 blue thingies. Uh, wow. Hmm. So let's load up the... the, the that. Alright, we're making our very first blue processing card. Uh, let's make... Uh, these are kind of nice. I like these. They're really expensive to make, though. But you only need, like, three of them. What's this? Oh! Up to six ingredients. Do you need these for anything? What takes six ingredients to make? Um, what actually takes six ingredients to manufacture? Ah, rocket silo? That takes five. Satellite. Okay, I guess you do need them way later. I don't think I need them now for anything, right? So as I set up for my power armor and all my flight stuff, and uh, I'm going to need engines. The thing is, the the engines you need... Uh, Let me see. If I want to make myself some construction robots, you need the flying robot frame. And that takes... Uh, is it in here? The electric engine unit. Yeah. So the thing I make the temporary manufacturing for is the engine units, because I don't need them, like tons of them, on infinite, or the electric engines for that matter. I, I, I don't find myself needing them uh, like that much, because once I, I, I guess maybe late game you would want replacement robots coming if you lose them. So, but, uh, but yeah. So you just you just supply the ingredients manually, and that's what it does. Um, I think it's pretty handy. Uh, the thing is, actually. You could use, um, what are they called? No, uh, it's, uh, da, ah, yes. Yes, the, this, the requester chest. You could replace these with the requester chests, and then it's not even a manual factory anymore. It'll be an automatic factory. So you could actually set this up using the the different chests and uh oh. There's a big fight going on down there. Let's go check that out. All those things churn out blue circuits. 
Uh, what's happened? Oh man, I can't wait to get my speed boost uh, exoskeleton stuff back. Ah, uh, spitter. Okay, yeah, so what that is right there is a spitter was hitting the laser turret, I believe. Which is annoying, but whatever. Eh, okay. If I had a spare laser turret in my pocket, I would drop one there, but I, I don't right now, so I just have to deal with that. I'm stuck on a pipe. See, this is why you use the underground pipes all over, so you can have room to walk around. How's our... Yeah, we completely drained out... Oh, wow! That's some... That's that's kind of nice to see. Is we've got more petroleum than we're using now. That's really good. We've definitely solved that bottleneck, haven't we? <clears throat> Okay. Now, if you really wanted to be fancy, um, you could try balancing these, so you always have a balance using the... What would you use? The pump? Yeah, you would use the pump, and you would hook it up to these logic things that I don't know how to use, and you'd, like, say, if I have X amount of petroleum, turn the pump on or off to, like, power these things, and balance them. Or you could... Or instead of using the pump, you could just turn the, the factories themselves on and off. Um, I think I'd rather just use the pump. And that way you have one single object, the one single pump to control to let the stuff flow in. And then, like, you don't have to worry about setting up each, each factory. Although, I, th I think you can copy and paste those settings, so it's not that big a deal, is it? Um... So, how are we doing on these? 31. That's not bad. Alright. So that takes... well, that. Hey, I can make my modular armor. Should I should I just make some modular armor to start me off with? I'm not even sure, though, if it could house the roboport that I actually really want. Like... I'll s uh, you know what? I'll make it. I'll see what I can actually do with modular armor. It, it it will probably suck and not be that useful. Um, we'll probably need one of those and the actual RoboPort itself, which takes a crap load of batteries. And the batteries are I'm standing on them. I'm literally just standing on what I need. All right. So let's make one personal robot port. Uh, how many robots can it... I can hold ten robots. Cool. Okay. So we'll have just the ten of them. No, we need copper! Oh, that's okay. I've actually got some copper here. No, we need steel! We need iron! So, modular armor. This should have a bigger inventory. Yeah, look at that. So I can throw the heavy armor out. So this is modular armor, and if, if I right-click it, it actually has a little grid here. Uh, so this is your first gridded armor. And I'm making a robo-port right now. We'll throw the, we'll throw the heavy armor in here. I got my fish. There's the light armor. And a, a single stone brick. Right, okay. Where are they tagging? Down there again. Nine objects are being damaged. Holy crap! Let's go put a radar down there. See, this. I feel like this is an excellent example of why you would uh, use the manual crafting thing, because... Look, see my crafting queue down here? Like, this is where you can speed it up a lot with the manual one. Um, let's go repair this. You guys think maybe this will be the last time I personally repair something? Maybe? The robots will just take it from here. Oh, man, I, lo I love the robots, guys. Uh, seriously. 
I love the robots. They're so good. Uh, and even if it's just like a handful of them, it's so much better than doing stuff by hand. It really is. Speaking of which, can we increase their speed? Holy crap. Yeah, we can increase our speed again. Let's do that. Uh, so I won't. I want to go. I just want to. I'm gonna make the jump straight to power armor too. So what actually do I need for this? I need more blue stuff. Okay, let's just make the blue stuff. And to make the blue stuff, we need the green stuff. These are very technical, scientific terms, by the way. Uh, this should make us a decent amount of blue stuff. Ah, put it on that belt. Ah, I guess it doesn't matter. They all... One chest is as good as any other, pretty much. Uh, anyway, alright, so let's see. What do I actually have built so far? Oh, there's the personal robo-port. So let's pop open the modular armor. And we'll put that down there in a corner. And we have a portable solar panel. We don't exactly have the necessary power, it would seem. And we don't have a battery either to store the power. Uh, so that's not so good. Well, our manual crafting stuff is churning out those blue cards for us. So, I guess we'll just have to sit here and wait. I guess I'll cancel that. Uh, I did, oh, I did want to go ahead and put that radar down here. Do I have one down here? Because I'd like to be able to see what the hell's going on down here. Um... No, there is no radar down here. Look at that. I'm a doofus. I'll put it right here in the corner. There we go. Now we can see all these little bastards. They really are they really are annoying. You know, I could have just made a gate there, but I kind of like the maze. It'll add a bit to there. The guys that run will try to, I think they'll try to run around that. Um, well, I've got me some modular armor. Oh, a battery. Excellent. Yay. Put that there. Uh, so I've got a solar panel. Let's make the solar panels. Good God, that does take a lot of stuff. Okay, let's just make this for now. So what all does it need to make? It needs steel, five... Oh, I'm making the solar panels. Uh, okay. I see. Well, let's let that grind out what it needs to grind out while I come down here. You stupid little butt munches. Yeah, why don't you all just run into that and die? Yeah. Shark lead coming! Ow! Ow! Oh god! Let's put down some flames and cover my escape. Get back to the lasers! They'll save me! Uh... Well, I like to think maybe I destroyed some of their stuff. Can I repair my armor with a thing? How? Okay. I guess I can't. I mean, it's got like so much durability, I don't know if it's actually going to break on me, so... There was that. How 
Have I put a dent in my actual oil reserves? Yeah, yeah, look at that. I actually have put a dent in them. Well, maybe if I killed, I did land my fire on some of their nests. Oh my Christ, look at that down there. Guys. Guys, seriously, this is a little nuts. Huh, maybe I should have taken some uh, hand grenades. Pardon me, I sneezed. I hope I muted it in time. Um, those just need coal. Oh, well, I'm crafting crap right now. That's okay. I should have gone and gotten my fish, but I'm stupid. So rather than let that... Holy crap. That's the kind of wave that attacked my base and broke through the wall. That right there. Are those the, uh, the medium-sized biters? Yeah. So I'll tell you what. We're going to trick these dumbasses into attacking me. And then... Come on, attack me. Do it. Oh, here they come. Oh, it's just the little ones. I want all of you to come. All of you, come on. Yes. Yes, all of you die. Or most of you, at least. Ow. Yeah, the big armored ones aren't so easy to take out with the machine gun. I need the better ammo. Haven't made any yet. Okay, well that relieves a little bit of pressure on my base. Let's put down a wall of fire here to cover my south. Let's get that base. I better fall back and not risk it. Okay. So, let's take a look at the map now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's thinned out the bases a bit. So that'll get rid of some of the, um, the spawning. And make when they do attack my base, it'll be... A lot less threatening. Can I just upgrade to that one now? Which one's cheaper? I probably want the speed. Uh, Alright, so that's good to do. Alright, let's head back. Stop messing with them for now. Uh, let's go see what the manual crafting has kicked out for me. How many of them do I have now? 21. And I need how many? 40? And I need how many for... Oh, God! Oh, God, painful. Oh, my God. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. That's a lot. Well, uh... Thankfully, I've got this handy thing here, so... Let's just flood these other belts uh, with these parts here. And uh, that'll get them making a lot of stuff. And we still have plenty of the... We actually have tons of the red circuits. Um, we're really... We're completely backed up on those. Uh, and it looks like... we'll need. We will need to switch these over and help me manufacture specifically the... 
flying robot frame that takes electric uh well no we need the electric engines yeah we need the electric engine which is this thing and that take well we need normal engines so we need to go get steel plate iron gears pipes and we'll throw all that in there and make a bunch of engines maybe 200 engines would be a good number to shoot for and then uh use the engines and some circuits and some lube to make the electric engines and then yeah that's easy yeah easy easy all the other stuff is already on my belt so so these are cranking out uh more circuits now that's good all right well, anyway, I'll let this uh, run for a bit, and I'll see you guys next episode, because I've already hit that 45-minute mark, and I really don't want to go beyond that. So that was my... This is my manual crafting setup, which can easily be switched to automated crafting using the flying robots, if you want to, by just replacing these chests, and then you can just spam this setup all over the place. Um, and it's I set it up to be lazy, because, like, the inputs here and the output comes right to you, so you can just stand here and access all of it. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy.